In the summer of 1986, I ran sound for a Christian heavy metal band. Jesus loves you. And he can forgive you. Stop it! No matter what you've done. We do it. Can he forgive you for playing so many shitty songs? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Christian heavy metal. Many people think it's a joke. You suck, no harm. But it wasn't a joke to me. I loved it. Until. Christian heavy metal. Well, it went and broke my heart. Tell y'all what, this has been an amazing talent show tonight. Check, check, check. Now, we got one more eye for you. Where's but before we do that, we got a couple of announcements Eric. before we pack up and head home tomorrow. If you are on the blue bus on the way to camp, Eric. you're gonna be on the red bus on the way home. Uh, it's only fair, okay? We need to take turns with the air conditioned coach. I'm dying up here, Eric! Y'all ready to rock? Awesome. First, though. If you are allergic to bees and were in cabin yeah, four when the attack happened on Thursday afternoon, if you are still experiencing symptoms like itchiness, tightness in the throat, soreness at the site or sites of the stings, all right, if you are still unable to hold your food down, you need to see the camp nurse tonight after the show. Right, she's got calamine lotion and gator gum to keep you hydrated. Puppet team rehearsals start next Sunday night right before the special baptism service. Now, if you've ever been touched by a puppet, do yourselves a favor. Get involved with this incredible ministry team. Yo, Eric! So who's ready to rock? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Eric! God can't hear you! Yeah. Y'all dudes ready? Waiting on you, cat daddy. Are you serious? These guys like to call themselves 316. But you and I, we know them as Michael, Jamie, Cliff and Scotty. Dear Father God. Playing a song by the band Striper and closing out this year's Camp Harmony talent show. Three, six, two!
80s. Now that's when Christian rock really started to roll. What started as Sweet Jesus Folk songs on a beach in California had grown into record labels, tour buses, Christian rock stars. Everybody's heard of Amy Grant. She was the most famous, but Striper? A Christian hair metal band from LA? They were my favorite. The youth of America have welcomed them with open arms and ears to their messages. They're known to break tradition with a hammer. As they perform, they distribute Bibles to all their audiences. Millions of American kids love their music that loud and that frantic. And they're either going to go see Motley Crue or the Rolling Stones or maybe Striper. Guess who I'd rather than see? We had at least one Christian band for every three dozen or so regular bands. Righteous rock and rollers singing about sin and salvation instead of parties and sex. Christian rock's answer to the sleazy excess of the devil's music was simple. Jesus Christ will love the hell out of you. The summer your father took us to Washington, D.C. Do you remember? You liked the cemetery. You didn't want to leave. You just ran and ran back and forth through those rows of white crosses. You didn't realize there were soldiers buried there. You just carried on like it was a playground. I went to church three times a week. You going on the mission trip? Studied my Bible. Pretty much OD'd on Christian music. I think so. Harry says there's lots of people need to get saved in Niagara Falls. Sounds about right. I didn't play or sing, but I knew how to make music sound good. So I got on with a group of guys from my church who'd started a metal band called 316. Can you share your testimony with us? How you came to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Well, I went to a youth retreat last fall, and I rededicated my life. I, I mean, I, I walked an aisle in second grade, got baptized, but it wasn't really real until a few months ago. Mm. I hear you, bro. When Jesus gets a hold of you, man. It just changes things. Amen. Yeah. I rededicated my life two years ago at camp. Again. I mean, I got saved when I was six. First rededication at 10, but I was way off. Did my own thing all through middle school. My history teacher caught me stealing tater tots out of the cafeteria. I had to ground pretty hard, rock bottom kind of stuff, you know. Eventually, the Holy Spirit grabbed me by my high tops and said, hey, Are you a child of God, aren't you? Get back on track. After a couple of shows, our youth minister connected us to an old friend of his who managed Christian bands. Skip. Well, folks, I work for a company in Chicago called Harvest Concert Ministries. We book concert tours for gospel groups, promote them, manage the bands. Now, I've been doing this for seven years now, and I have seen this industry absolutely explode. When I started, it was with Petra doing shows in, well, in fellowship halls, just like this one back in 79. Wait, um, when you say Petra, do you, you mean like Petra, Petra? Good friends of mine. Great guys, on fire for Christ. I just saw Bobby at GMA in Nashville a couple weeks ago. Listen, 
If what Perry told me is true, I see no reason that you boys can't be opening for Mylan or Steve Camp or who knows, maybe even Striper by the time school starts back in the fall. I am here to steal you from your mamas and daddies for the summer. Take you out on the road, cut an album, see what happens. You're, t you're talking about a tour? Yes, ma'am. 316 on tour. All four members and a sound man. The Rock and Roll Road Show. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. I honestly didn't think we were strong enough Christians to handle Skip's Rock and Roll Road Show. What about spiritual accountability? I mean, all the big bands travel with pastors and they have Bible studies every day. And rules too, you know, like, uh, no girls on the bus, stuff like that. Perry told me you boys put Jesus first. What's your name, son? It's Eric, sound man. Yeah, Brother Eric's concerns, yeah, they echo the greats. You don't get into this business to party hardy and rock and roll, drink Bacardi and smoke a bowl. No, you do it to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, to make him famous. And your sound man, well, he sounds pretty dadgum good to me. My mother, though, well, she was sold. You trust Perry. Skip is Perry's friend. But out there on the road, just us guys, it's us I don't trust. Is that the table? I mean, technically, this was my dream. I'd imagine being on the road with a Christian rock band ever since I got saved at a fire escape show. We have all fallen short of God's perfect standard. And it's only by his son, Jesus Christ, stripes those Roman whip marks across his back. His sacrifice on the cross that we can escape hell's fire. Tonight, if you want to be saved from that fire, you need to pray this prayer with me. With every head bowed and every eye closed, say this. Dear Christ Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Dear Lord, bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies to your service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Father God, open the eyes of Eric's heart that he could see the opportunity that you've placed before him. Lord, help him to find the honor in using his talents to glorify you. Amen. Mom really had a way with praying. If you don't go, they'll find someone else. The only reason I'd ever do it is to make Jesus famous. Home sweet home. Joy explosion? My sister has every single one of their records. Oh, good folks. Sweet harmonies. Love Jesus and apparently each other. So there were some moral failures, but I know their ex-manager, so I got it for a song. The same rain falls on the just and the unjust, amen. They look creepy. Yeah, it's the eyes. They follow you. It's just art, man. Let's get the drums in first. All right. Flip. Hey. Let's get in the druggy van. So you got clean socks, clean underwear. Listen to me. You just um, you take this money and you hide it in a bunch of different places just in case you lose some of it. Yeah, that's smart. Okay. And there's really no need to tell any of the other guys that you have money on you, especially not that um, Skip 
Scotty will just eat cereal if you don't watch him. He calls it Riri. He has to be in bed by 10 at the latest. I mean, he can be a real turd in the morning. Ma'am, we will have him in bed by 9.45. All right. <laughs> at least he doesn't wet the bed anymore. <laughs> you know? Yes, no, ma'am. No, no. Threatens to become a permanent scar on the American promise of hope and opportunity for all. I'm talking about the crisis of family breakdown, especially among the welfare poor, both black and white. In inner cities today, families, as we Love you, Mama. And so began the summer of 1986, an inauspicious gathering of wannabe rock stars in a church parking lot in West Columbia, South Carolina. Your Uncle Dan was so impressed when I told him about the tour. He said, if you guys get up near Philly, he'll spring for Cokes. <laughs> They're good boys, Eric. They might mess up. We all do. But if you're going to mess up, it's better to do it with friends who love the Lord. Remember, Matthew 18, 20. I mean, stuff like this just doesn't happen anymore. Sometimes I wonder if it really happened to me. Five of us in a secondhand RV headed to who knows where, who knows when. Got it? We won't mess up. He said that he had your number. This because is the story of all right. that. You say you or a at reason. least as best as I can remember. Putting together what actually boy. happened several decades ago. On the door. I mean, this story may only be true to me. You were a prisoner but still, of I'll try to keep it honest. But when you lose, you win. Even if it makes me look like the devil. Because now, looking back, I think I was. In his letter to the Ephesians, Paul says, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. 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 The wiles of the devil we know are legion. Most hard rock music does not glorify God. On the radio, songs are played with lyrics like, gonna have me a white meat feast, living large as befits the beast. Disfurtive scritch scratch, dropping that crotch crutch, looking for a slick lick, I ain't asking for much. But Paul tells us to be ready to thwart the influence of the devil wherever it shall rise. So, tonight, our young people will praise God through the hard rock of the 316 band. Let us pray. Guns. 
I'm talking about a Yahweh M80 rocket launcher. Oh, yeah. Boom. There she blows. Commanders for Christ. Let's all go, Commanders. Commanders for Christ. Let's all go, Commanders. Commanders for Christ. Thank you for your service. So we're going around tonight asking people what they thought of the show. Of course, we know 316 was great. Oh, yeah, the John 316 right, just, band was... Just, just 316. Oh, okay, the 316s mm. were rocking awesome. So it's not plural, actually, just 316. I said it. There was talk a while ago they were going to uh, maybe force me to do a television ministry. You, you on TV? No, I, I thought maybe a fishing show. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. For just a quarter a day, I tell you, just a quarter a day, Brother Wilmer here will sneeze into a prayer hanky for you. <laughs> you know, you can laugh, but I think during the allergy season, I would have made a killer. Stop! 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 Wait! 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 Oh! I'm gonna wait here. Over here. Oh! 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 Oh
Oh, quit it. I gotta play tomorrow, okay? Bass is really hard. Quit whining, Samson. Keep your hands straight. I'm keeping them. Huh. I wouldn't want to be up front. I love it. Yeah, but you have to keep your ego in check. Make Jesus famous and not yourself. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Not so much. Um, it, it's, it's probably better that way. Daddy says he misses mama, but he does better ministry as a widower. And Jesus never had a girlfriend. Except maybe Mary Magdalene. They never did anything. Brother Wimber. Well, I appreciate what you're doing to take care of what's over. Thank you. Listen, I, I want you to know... Skip, come on, skip! I feel real, real bad about what happened last year. It weren't your fault. You got involved with some bad hombres. Now, um, these boys, they're gonna need all the help you can give. May God bless you on your mission trip. Thank you very much. I wanna go to Panama too, Daddy. Well, maybe when you're a little bit older. Uh, no, Becky, we need you for a much more important job. We need you to look after your sisters. Amen. <laughs> June H. Christmas. Can we go? Scotty, get back. Everybody, shut up. All right, let's go. Thank you, brother. Arriva Derche. Everybody, shut up. We're on the move. Scotty! Yes, your wickedness? Yeah, I mean, we still have over an hour to Mobile. We're not gonna be able to stop for lunch. So why don't you go back there and grab some grub from the cooler? Thought this thing had a refrigerator. Well, shocker, Scotty. It is not in proper working order. Should be a cooler behind the base amp. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't see it, Skip. Oh, come on, Scotty, just look. I know it's back there, Scotty. It should be behind the base. Hey, Skip. Yes. I think we better stop for lunch. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. All right. Well, Panama Jack's plane left Birmingham an hour ago. Sarah, have you run away before? No, not in a while. Never got this far. Daddy doesn't care. Oh, he cares. Believe me, Sarah, he cares. God almighty. <laughs> Shut your damn mouth, Scotty. I mean, we have to be in Mobile in 53 minutes, or we can kiss that love offering goodbye. No money. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call your daddy's secretary. 
we're going to tell her the truth. We're going to say we just found you after we were already there. Where are your sisters while your daddy's away? With my aunt and uncle. OK. In Ohio. Ohio? Cleveland. It's near Akron. On the lake. Yeah, I'm very well aware of where Cleveland is, Sarah. Yeah. I tell you, y'all are going to drive me back to drinking. Hey, Skip. She can sing. She could open for the band. I mean, she's really good. Yeah, she's awesome. Hey, sing that song from last night. I do not want to hear her sing. Yes, you do. Sarah, sing. Well, it seems that everyone we've known, their love has grown cold, hearts turn to stone. One by one they break, it's such a shame, and now you say you want to do the same. Well, don't toss us away so thoughtlessly. Just staying right. Oh, can't you see? I still love you. I want you to stay. Darling, please don't toss us away. Oh, think of all that we been through the world we're building, me and you. How could all those years be tossed away in just one moment, in just one day? Well, don't toss us away. It just ain't. you to stay. Darling, please don't toss us away. That's not rock and roll. Nobody cares. Girls got soul. All right, y'all get on the camper. Let's go to Mobile. Leave behind the doubt. Love's the only out. Love will surely find a way. Amy Grant sucks. I actually think Amy's a pretty decent guitar player. But what do I know? Thanks, Eric. Hey, get in the bus, Nimrods. Let's go. Mother, I write to you from a real rock and roll tour bus. I can't believe it's just been a couple of months since I tried out for the band. So, uh, what kind of music do you listen to? Quite a bit, actually. Uh, love metal, hard rock. Uh, love your guys' stuff. Um, let's see, I've been listening to Resban, Baron Cross, Blood Good, Leviticus, Jerusalem, Messiah Prophet, Philadelphia, Barnabas, uh, Daniel Band, Shout, and Saint, which I think is the heaviest of them all, of course. Um, but I could hear you guys playing with any of them. I've been listening to this new metal band called First Strike. Their album was produced by Mike Rowe of the 77s. I love the 77s, that whole post-punk new wave scene, bands like Youth Choir, The Lifesavers, and LSU, which is the new version of The Lifesavers, and it's insane. 
uh, Undercover, Vector, Charlie Peacock, Bill Mason Band, uh, Mad at the World, Andy McCarroll and Moral Support, The Technos in 3D, Quick Flight, 441, um, Steve Taylor and Daniel Amos, of course, and even punk stuff like The Lead and this new underground band from Texas that I heard about at Cornerstone called One Bad Pig. And, and then there's the mainstay rock acts. You gotta love them, you know, Larry Norman, uh, Randy Stonehill, Daryl Mansfield, Servant, Petra, DeGarmo and Key, uh, Rick Kua, Prodigal, uh, Carrie Livgren and AD, Idle Cure, Sweet Comfort Band, um, Phil Keggy, Rob Castle's band, Whiteheart, Kenny Marks, Mark Hurd, Pat Terry, and then all that great stuff from the old days. My uncle turned me on to some crazy cool Jesus music that I still really dig, like Keith Green, All Save Freaks Band, Tom Howard, Concrete Rubber Band, uh, Randy Matthews, Bryn Hayworth, he actually opened for Clapton, Ishmael United, so many others. But you know what I really love is when I find a regular band, uh, you know, like on MTV and the radio, that just has like a Christian perspective on things. I've been really into Bob Dylan, The Alarm, uh, Simple Minds, The Call, uh, After the Fire, Bruce Coburn, Violent Femmes, this wicked metal band from Chicago called Trouble. Um, Alpha Band, they actually backed up Dylan. And uh, Kaja, that's what was left after the lead singer left Kaja Goo Goo. It's way cooler. And U2, of course. Oh, and I've been getting into this jazz fusion band called Koinonia. That's just what I carry around with me. I've got a lot more at home. Oh. Um. What, what was the third one again? I came on kind of strong. I'm glad they liked me anyway. Last night, we played at a youth camp somewhere in West Virginia. Tonight, it's a skating rink lock-in in Ringgold, Georgia. Girl, it's clear to me that Jesus And so far, 20 kids have prayed to receive Christ with dozens more rededications. And everything you do, so tonight, my girl, I declare, oh my love for you, for you.
the road has its distractions. The biggest is probably girls. Did you suicide? Those are gross. Yeah. Can't taste the Sprite. Uh, where'd Skip go? I think he went to drive kids back to the church for the lock-in. Says he can't sleep in a roller rink. <laughs> Did you know that this is where we're supposed to stay tonight? It's the rock and roll road show. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. But hey, on the bright side, you just opened for the hottest van in Northwest Georgia. One song. Oh, it was amazing. You sounded better than the band. Even Skip said so. You swear. Well, I mean, I, I don't swear, but I promise, so. I promise. You sounded better than the band. I taped it, you can listen. I have more songs. Well, then you gotta sing those too, all of them. I'm sure eventually some girl will catch my eye, but for now, I'm focused entirely on my own spiritual growth and development. It's quiet time. Yeah, just finishing up. Hey man, there's coffee at the gas station across the street. No, oh, I never touch this stuff. You're so good. Come on. I think Cliff ate the rest of Scotty's Riri. Again. I'm hoping we stop soon. I'm getting hungry. Not me. Feasting on the word this morning. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Do you think Skip drinks? You mean, does he drink now? Scotty says he can smell it on his breath. Well, Scotty needs to tighten up his drumming. What do you think of Sarah? Well, she can sing. Well, yeah, but... Are you in love? <laughs> Every time I turn around, there's another Christian rock star or music industry person. Skip tries to act like he's my dad. He's just being a boss, man. My boss is a Jewish carpenter. 
Hey, Skip talked my dad into letting me stay. That was cool of him. Skip's last band owes your daddy money. You're a free opening act. Do you get that? Hey, Skip and I agree. You were pushy. I mixed the show. Skip's a drunk! Hey! Man, you're so full of shit. Hey, can you cut the language, Scotty? It hurts your witness. Don't you walk away from me, Scotty. Where's Cliff? Cliff is doing what I asked him to do. Unlike you, he's manning the merch table. Well, if you have a problem with the rhythm section, maybe the bass player should be here too. Okay. Wait, did you eat him? All right. Where is he? Sarah, go. Take Cliff's place at the table, please. Go on. God almighty. Scotty, I am not worried about that kid. That's right, though. Jesus, I'm just Skip's way to settle up with Daddy. Hey. Stop worrying so much about how you got here or what some hothead teenager thinks. It's not about you, Sarah. Right? God chose you for a reason, to make Jesus famous. Turn the music! I need to sleep! You understand? I need to sleep! It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Turn the music down! He's been slain in the spirit, Cliff. Oh, I need to sleep, you poo face. <laughs> I guess we better turn in. Or try to. Well, uh, us guys are sleeping out by the skating rink. Um, and if I don't get some sleep, I don't play bass. And if I don't play bass, you don't have a band! So you could take skate riddle, if you want. Or whatever. Hey, Sarah. I'm really glad you're here with us. It's better that way. Thank you for encouraging me to go. This is shaping up to be the greatest summer of my life. Your only begotten son, Eric. Go on, good luck. Y'all liked our opening act, right? Well, we thought it'd be fun to let her play on stage with the boys. Please welcome 316's opening act, the pride of Anniston, Alabama, Miss Sarah Wimber. Yeah, we're gonna play a little song my mama used to really like. Although I'm not quite sure she'd enjoy this arrangement. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. This world is not my home. 
I'm just a passing through My treasures all lit up Somewhere beyond the blue The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Just up on heaven's shore, well, they're eternally Well, the saints on every hand are gonna be shot of victory Their songs are sweet as sound, will sing forever That was really rude. At the show tonight, you skipped nose and he's pissed. Why? Everybody loved you. Sorry. I want to be friends. I don't want to be your friend. I thought this was supposed to be about Jesus. Remember? Satan is trying to tear us You far. don't. Who invited you? Because you can't. Running away from home, Sarah. Really? That's not godly. What else happened? with you and the guy backstage. What guy? Your groupie. College guy? At the show tonight. Cliff can walk on water. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, no, don't hit me. Skipwick loves giving mouth to mouth, Cliff. You'll be fine. <laughs> hey, all right, guys. Morning meeting. Everybody huddle up. Bless you. All right. Hey, I still need a D string, Skipwick. Oh, yes, I am on that. I said that last time. He meant G string. Hey, Eric. Is you two really a Christian band? Uh, Bono, Edge, and Larry are. Adam isn't. All right. Y'all know who Chris Angelopoulos is? Yeah, that's the lead singer and guitarist for Fire Escape. 
That is right. Yeah, he's one bad mofo on, yeah. on the electric guitar. Well, Chris has invited us to his private studio in Nashville to record an EP. What? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no, 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 no! What are you? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Cliff! Get out of the pool! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, here, kitty. Pull, pull me out! Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look up, look up. Look you up, look are up. a moron. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Smooth move, x -Lax. You're gonna have to air dry because we gotta be in Nashville tonight. Tonight? Chris had a couple of days open up. We gotta jump. Well, what about the Garden City Revival tonight? Oh, well, we cancel that. It's just a love offering anyway. Now, look it past couple of shows, there have been some issues with the soundboard. Also, we have this recurring problem with the rhythm section. Guys, we got to keep our focus, play great shows, and respect each other. And make Jesus famous. Yes, I echo those good words, all right? Something special is happening with this band. But that means you've got to be careful, because Satan would like nothing more than to see 316 crash and burn. Amen. Well, the devil can kiss my black ass. The skip, we're going to Nashville. I just like to uh, echo good hey, brother Jamie's yeah, word thank here. Thank you, brother. <laughs> I want to echo Cliff's echo. Oh, thank you, brother Scott. Great. Right, well, right. grab your stuff and get into the joy explosion, Nimrods, because y'all got to finish that song while we're driving. All right? And Cliff, you do have to change. I cannot smell you wet dog the whole way to Nashville. It's already done. You smell like fish. I mean, it's weird. Where does catch like Cliff to the top of the joy explosion? Eric. You were right. I haven't been the kind of woman that Jesus wants me to be. It's okay. No, it's not. All I want to do in this world is to please God. That's, that's all I want to do, Eric. Just pray for me, okay? I know that I, I thank him for godly men like you in my life. Guys, guys, the chorus is there, all right? The solo works, the bridge. The second verse, that's your problem. Yeah, second verse is dookie. Amen to that. Yeah. What rhymes with Seder? What's Seder? Yeah, the Passover meal. What's the meter? Like the beats? It's the same as the first.
Let me revise the plan. You'll go to school here at Belmont, major in music. Yes. And I'll get one of those jobs at, uh, at a recording studio on Music Row. No college? Uh, I'll get in good with music biz people. Open doors for you. I like it. Like Amy Grant and Gary Chapman. Yeah. You know, I read in Lady's Home Journal that she would never want to compare Gary's moans to another man's. I'm serious. She talks about them like having sex and stuff and drinking wine and walking around on nude beaches. That doesn't sound right. I have the magazine. It's in there. It's just like when you were talking about us in Nashville. Just kind of made me think, you know? So... <laughs> <I> <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. All right, we get two songs. That's it. No covers. Hey, Jelsey Mylan. Because I got him to sell my hand. We'll play Commando and Barabbas. All right. You Nimrod, that ink's gonna sweat right off you. All right, don't go over, guys. Do not go over. Commando and Barabbas, that's it. All right, Scotty? Strict time. Strict time, yes. Hey, Skip Wait. Yeah. We didn't get any pizza. You know, if I could stop time, Cliff, and get you some pizza, I would. But God has not given me that particular gift. All right, Sarah, Eric, let's go. You guys, break a leg. Yeah! All right, let's go. A couple thousand people. He's worried about pizza. It's unbelievable to me. Oh, it's Amy Grant. Hey, it's me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Skip Wick, uh, Harvest Concert Ministries. Hi. Now, I run a white hot heavy metal band. Hi, hi. hi. I love you. Hi, <laughs> Vera. I love you too. Hi, um, um, oh, this is, this is Eric. We want to be like you and Gary someday. Hi, Eric. Hi, Miss Grant. Oh, I got to run. You too? Be good. Yeah, we gotta run too. Let's go. <laughs> Amy Grant, that's unbelievable. Hey, who got us, man, anyway? I skipped with the. I can't decide who I look more like. Crockett or Tubbs. <laughs> Tubbs. <laughs> Ernest Tubbs. Okay, everybody, shut up. Michael, were you born on a farm? Get down from there. Scotty, you take that jacket off. That is 82% alpaca. All right, everybody, good show tonight, but shut up. I'm expecting a call. Uh-oh, I think you skipped some boyfriend. <laughs> hey, hey. Shut it up. Everybody, silence. Oh, hey, this is Skip. Oh, no, hey, Chris. Hey, how are you? You mean you're you're here here, like like at the hotel? No, no, sure, room thirty-seven. Chris Angelopoulos is coming here.
All right. I'll make this short and sweet. Got a call yesterday from an old friend, works with a promoter in L.A. They won. 316 for a booking hold! What? Yes! What, what's a booking hold? When a promoter pays you to clear your schedule for a potential gig. They heard the songs from the Nashville session. 316 is in consideration for a support slot on the Motley Crew and Striper Heaven and Hell Tour! Then why the hold? They want to see you gig with a secular band. Like at a real rock club? Purgatorio, Dallas. Split bill with a couple of other metal bands. Santa's Clutch. Is that a Christmas band? No, you moron, it's Satan's Clutch. Dude, these dudes are crazy. They're like from Sweden or someplace. No way. It ain't the Bill Gaither trio, that's for damn sure. But hey, that's what these LA guys want to see. 316 in the belly of the beast. And if a club owner gives a good report, you guys are in. You're going to blow them away. And when you get to LA, you're going to blow Striper away too. I wouldn't be surprised if you get signed on the spot. Skippy. Call you tomorrow with the details. Ooh. <laughs> well done, my man. Thank you, Chris. I, for one, am. I just, I can't believe it. Yeah, Satan's Clutch. That's that's the band that they bit the head off of a ferret. Gross. The Purgatorio, I mean, if you want to, I mean, this is a real rock and roll club, all right? I don't know. I'm not sure I want this band playing a venue where they serve alcohol. Hey, Skip. I kind of agree with Michael. Chris is right. This band's the real deal. And this opportunity to play 316 songs in a real rock club filled with, filled with lost people. That, guys, this is what it's all about. Look, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of preaching to the choir at these churches and camps. I mean, half of these people, they think all rock is evil. They don't want to hear our music. We should play somewhere where they do. I want to make Jesus famous. Amen. So I say we rock the hell out of this purgatorio. Purgatorio.
Yep. Oh, Brother Wimper. Well, I thought you'd been raptured. Hey. Can you believe it? Chris Angelopoulos. I got saved at a fire escape show. My dad. He's coming to get me. He called Skip. Said he'd be meeting us in Dallas. Said I had my fun. It's time to come home. Get serious. I don't know when I'll see you again. He has to hear you sing. Sarah, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm not gonna let you go.
three sick teens? Yeah, I am pretty sure that's us, amigos. You ready? You ready for some stage club? Yeah! But there are four of us. Christian rock band, huh? Not quite. Huh. Satan's clutch? Yeah, pretty much. Get lost, Ozzy. That's gonna be over. Meets me? You here for that Christian band, aren't you? No, uh, uh Satan's Clutch. Huh. Well, you're gonna have to listen to that Christian shit first. Satan's Clutch comes on around 11:30 or so. Kids a Christian rock band. No, I'm not. Probably, probably got his mommy to drive him here with his little virgin girl. Shut up! <laughs> I just lost your girlfriend. Oh. Go to hell. Oh. Jesus loves you. And he can forgive you. Stop no matter it. what you've done. What are you doing? Can he forgive you for playing so many shitty songs? Does anyone know when Skip will be here? It's one in the morning. You guys are minors. Actually, I turned 18 in May. I want to speak to my lawyer. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why is he keeping us here if he's off duty? To make sure this case of assault and battery doesn't turn into a homicide. 
why in the name of all that's holy, you felt compelled to give an altar call at the end? We're screwed, Michael. And what's this bullshit about you signing away our publishing? Jamie, will you just shut up? Shut up, ass? Scotty. I want to hear it straight from the dumbass. Huh? During the bloody mass set, a guy came up to me and asked if we have signed with a publisher. I said I didn't think so. And you did what? I told him we'd look into it. You didn't write those songs, Cliff! OK, first of all, I'm the only one of us that's of legal age. That's why he was talking to me and not you. You understand? Second, publishing is the only way any of us in this business make any money. And third, I wrote the riff on Girl. I wrote some of the words on Commando. Yeah, Yahweh M80 rocket launcher, that was oh mine, right? Right? It was stupid. <sighs> we agreed Skipwick would handle contracts. Yeah, I couldn't find Skip. He was probably banging someone's mom in the back of the station wagon. Everybody, remain calm. Everybody, please calm down. Stay in your seats. There is no crying here. I am sorry that I missed your show. Boo hoo hoo, Scotty. All right, now, I had to go over to the Howard Johnsons for just a few minutes, and it turns out they are completely booked. So, Lucky me, I met this very nice Ukrainian woman who runs an adult establishment in Irving. Go Cowboys! And she has spare rooms for the girls who come in from out of town. So we are set. You're welcome. Thank you. Stay seated. It's all right. I understand you're appreciative. I heard you guys rocked it, huh? You OK, Skipwick? Am I OK? No, I'm not OK. I'm not okay at all. I'm great, cause I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. <laughs> down in my heart. I got that granny slapping love of Jesus down in my heart. <laughs> down in my heart to stay. Woo! Skip. Thank, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your old friend Dean is here, Skipwick. From Word Records. Well, Balaam's ass on a popsicle stick. Chris told me you guys were ready to sign. This, all of this, is disgusting. Worst thing I have seen since Carmen tried to exercise Tammy Faye Baker at Night of Joy. No, that is not the Excuse me. Don't you hey, touch me! Sit down, Sonny Crockett! You boys need the church. You need the Bible. You need your mamas and your daddies. No, no, no. Your families. But not a record contract. You will never work in gospel music ever again. Any of you. Any of you! I'm out. Me too. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey, 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 hey. It's all right. Hey, don't you care. It's all. Thank you. What the? Um. Your hair. Uh. Oh, God.
I'm just gonna fold up your hair and put it in your pocket, okay? Okay, all right then. How about we go inside and get some black coffee and sober up, okay? Uh, that sounds nice. I got you, I got you, I got you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm the one that convinced them to play the gig. Which was the right thing to do. <laughs> We're supposed to be playing a church tonight. <sighs> Listen. I'm going. Is your dad here? Let me talk to him. No, I mean like I'm really going, like... right now. Without him, I, I can't go back home. What? Sarah, you can't. <laughs> that's not, that's not right. You have to respect your father, you have to talk to him. He doesn't listen. He won't understand. I need you. You're the one that needs to go home. But there are people who are dying and going to hell. Can't God just be glad for us? Because we're happy and having fun, making music. Jesus is already famous, Eric. I need your help. I promised to tell my story honestly. Well, this is where my memory fails. Indians are like that. Scattered, fuzzy, 
falling to pieces. 316 died that night. But just before the end, I'll never forget it. We played the best set of our career. Hey, how about a do-over? That last set was for Jesus. But this one, this one's for us. I never saw Sarah again, but I've thought about what she said that night a lot. Jesus didn't need us to make him famous, just to be with each other, play music together, have fun, take care of each other. The joy of the Lord, you might say. Sometimes people ask, where are they now? Michael actually stayed with Christian music. He made a couple of really good power pop records in the mid-90s. Went on to lead worship at a mega church out west. Cliff, he's in sales. Not sure what he sells, but he does well. Lives in Atlanta. We've run into each other a few times over the years. Great guy. Scotty's been married two or three times, I hear. Doesn't play anymore. Not sure if he goes to church either. I think his new wife just had a baby. They seem happy. Jamie made it. He became a session guitarist in LA. He was in a couple of fairly successful rock bands too. I saw him play in Charlotte once. We spoke briefly after. He was nice, but it was clear. He'd moved on. And me? Well, I stuck with the youth group through high school, then kind of drifted away from church and college. I got married divorced, started an AV company that I eventually sold. I lost my ear for rock and roll. I grew up. We all do. Now the past becomes stories we tell at bars, on first dates, playing a round of golf. Every once in a while, I do think about trying to find Sarah, but I never did. When I finally heard about her again, it was too late. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Eric. Yes, I know. You were with the band. I was. Yes. I mean, a sound guy. Yeah, I remember. It was all such a huge part of my memory that night. Oh. We played a bunch of shows, though. Well, there was one here in Anniston. Christian Life Assembly, you all stayed at our house that night. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, how could I forget? Well, I was the bratty younger sister. I'm sure I gave you guys a ton of grief. I was pretty boy crazy. Becky? 
Yes. Uh, Rebecca, now. I'm surprised you remembered. Oh, well. <clears throat> she talked a lot about you. You guys were the best thing that ever happened to my sister. I've heard so many stories about Skipwick over the years. <laughs> well, you know he sold cars for a while. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> I'm in Houston on business in the late 90s, and I'm looking at this local TV station. There's Skipwick. <laughs> no way. Looking right into the camera, shilling those used cars. That's perfect. Awesome. So the next day, I go down to the lot, and I found him. You're kidding. No. I walked right up to him. He didn't recognize me from Adam, but it was him, no doubt. Was he still driving uh, oh, what, yeah. the, the Joy yeah, Explosion? Yeah, with those eyes. Remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, what did he say when you told him who you were? Oh, I didn't. What? No, I didn't. I, I, I just chatted him up about cars, and I told him I was looking for a minivan for my wife. Oh, man. I would have loved to have seen his face if you'd have told him. Well, I got close. I kept asking him if he'd ever driven an RV. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I told him my wife was into Christian hair method. Oh, oh come on. Dude, he must have known it was you. Maybe, but he never let on. He just said he loved the Lord, too. Skipwick. I wanted to catch you before you left. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. <sighs> I wanted to give you something. Sure. A few years ago, when Sarah finally moved back, Daddy was pretty sick by then. And um, she knew all these music people, so... Music people? My sister. She had an amazing career. You didn't know that? I... I kind of gave up on music a long time ago. <sighs> Sarah sang with everybody. She toured with Michael Jackson and Elton John and, I mean... Everybody. She toured the world, Eric, half a dozen times. Wow. I... <laughs> when Daddy was sick, she cut a CD, a, a bunch of songs that he liked. This is for you. What are you doing right now? I think that people are uh, just gonna hang out here at Helen's, but I don't... You wanna get some dinner with me?
do explosion. There she is. It doesn't run right now, and there's no AC, so it's a lot like home. <laughs> Okay, guys, get back to set. <laughs> Arriba Dare Cheese. I want you to know he's scared of shower shoes. He fell off the toilet as a child, and sometimes he'll speak French for days at a time. Thanks, Mr. Skip. <laughs> Where I skated, Jelly Beans and Hot Lana. I don't know if it's still open. I'm guessing it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three!